Have you ever thought about how you're a ghost driving a skeleton covered in meat? Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey, I'm single. So we thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they are supposed to have 100 children all with different partners. There's a lot of rules to this challenge. If you're interested in those, that link will be below. It's spooky season here and I'm a big fan of Halloween. I'm very excited to throw a Halloween party and invite back all of our faves. There will be lots of tricks and lots of treats if Casey's involved. Kel Kelly, Kelly's involved, oh my gosh. Let's start the video. We're gonna be back in the Impeachish May household. What's scariest about the Peach K household to me right now is everybody is a head shorter than Kelly. Goals of this episode, age at least a couple kids into teens and have a banging <laughs> Halloween bash, the likes of which I definitely can't see this year because COVID. Okay, half my children are upset, but only half. That's pretty good. Josie, of course, is a C student and so is Cove. So we've got quite a bit to go. Danielle is also a C student and so is Delilah. And then we have, of course, Todd and Jay Jacob and Peach Shmay. Who are your fathers? Okay, it's Carlos Diaz, of course. We haven't had children yet with Aquaman. Maybe after she goes to the restroom, she might invite Aquaman over. You know what, Ruth? I'm so sorry that you're so hungry that I'm going to bring you food upstairs. I do need to move you probably downstairs at some point. Ruth is taking care of herself. Find out what's wrong. Oh, needs fed. Well, that's a thing that I guess babies needs. Okay, Todd. He's the forever Todd. Forever Todd. He's gonna be forever Todd. Cove is watching TV with a salad and yells doing her homework like a good girl. No! Clean that up! Stop that right now! Hey there, Delilah! What are you doing? Go take a shower and go to sleep. I feel like if I don't tell my sims to do stuff, they just won't. Kelly's so tired. I would be tired too from the fact that every single part of my house is... Oh no, she's gonna pass out. Oh my gosh, who is this? Namjoon Kim? Oh my god! A member of BTS is here! Casey! Casey! A member of BTS! You gotta do a flirty introduction with him, Casey, once you're- or Kelly. He's here. Okay, don't- don't be rude, okay? We're- we're doing our best. He liked it! Oh my gosh, he really likes her. This is so funny. He's so flirty with her already. <laughs> I could honestly ship. He is so cute. Oh, she's like finally going to bed. She's like, I am tired, but I was excited to meet that man. Wait, you need to invite Aquaman Momoa over. Oh, he already called and said congratulations on the new addition to the family. Good timing, Aquaman Momoa. I love that this guy's still in here though. There's Aquaman. All right, you're gonna ask Aquaman to what? Household's too big. Oh, I can't have Aquaman. Oh, fork. I need to get my children out of the house so I can have more kids. Well, I guess Aquaman Momo can just be here. Oh my gosh, Ruth. Ruth is tired. And, and talking to Aquaman. Ruth, go to bed. I'm so sorry. I forgot. She's like, excuse me. I must put myself to bed now. Thank you. Oh no, someone's coming. I'm being haunted by Harry, the ghost of my bad decisions. Ooh, spooky things. Do not sleep in a hot tub. What are you doing, girl? She can't use the restroom down here. There is no toilet that is, well, you can use this one, but it's gross. Ruth is very hungry. I get it. Okay, I'm gonna take care of Ruth. You'd think that with less tides becomes less responsibility, but you would be wrong. Okay, there you go, Ruth. I'm so sorry that we're not taking care of you very well. Unfortunately, mom is exhausted and barely keeping it together. Why don't you work on thinking after that and let mom sleep for a little bit and then someone will bathe you, I promise. I'm so sorry, Ruth, you deserve better. Everyone's done her, their homework, but Delilah. Hey now, Delilah, why aren't you doing your homework? Ruth has reached thinking level two, incredible. Give Ruth a bath. Oh, sweet baby Ruth, the first time she's been held since she was a baby. And then she's tired too. You could uh, read Ruth to sleep, she would love that. Okay, everybody starts school in about an hour. All right, Delilah, it's time for you to wake up and like do your homework. Oh, mom's reading Ruth to sleep while the baby cries in the background, but isn't this cute? Oh. She reached parenting level nine. Okay, are you all going to school? Oh my gosh, bye John Lennon. Go to school. Study very hard. Delilah, you also need to go to school, unfortunately, even though you did not finish your homework, Delilah. Who's calling? Kiss and tell, Cove spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. She didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. Too young for kissing, kids just being kids, ask her to apologize. I feel like Kelly would ask her to apologize. Love letter, Cove is grabbing her lunch 
reach from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note, shaped like a heart, with the words, you are cute, written on it, and nothing else. She seems like it might be from the new boy, who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? I've read this so many times that I know exactly what happens every time, and it's you wait and see. You don't confront the new kid, but maybe, maybe Cove will want to confront the new kid this time, just to mix it up. It's pretty easy for Cove to get the new boy alone, since he doesn't have many friends yet, and he definitely wrote it since he blushes from head to his high top, so now what? Cove mumbles a sheepish thanks, keeping it a secret for now. Wait, that's different than usual. We mixed it up. I love that. I wanted her to fix stuff, but all she's gonna do is sleep while the kids are gone. Wow, ain't that ain't that motherhood? I I I, I believe. Oh, Jace is here. Well, Jace, why won't you fix some stuff for us? You know what? This one's just bothering me. What if we hire a repair service? I wonder how much that costs. Call a repair service. Can you repair all my stuff? Hide. We do not need to talk to you. Jace, that is not, actually maybe that is what the baby needs. No, the baby needs a diaper change. Dang it. Poor Kelly looks absolutely exhausted. But all of the rest of her needs I got up, so it's just the sleeping now. What, oh, I thought those were children, but it's just a weird section of gnomes. It's almost Todd's birthday and Jacob's birthday. And oh, Josie and Cove's grades are up. Good job, Josie and Cove. I'm so proud of you girls. Everyone's like, I wanna watch TV. TV. Watch a movie with your sisters. A lost dog's journey home. They're all gonna watch a movie. Oh, except for apparently Delilah's like, I'm going to bed, I don't wanna watch a movie. And Delilah, as usual, has really bad needs and therefore cannot do her homework. Aw, the movie was great, they loved it. How sweet. Homework's complete, good job, Josie. Wait, where's Josie? This one's Josie, good job, Josie. Cove, did you do your homework? Only half done. All right, well, why don't you take a nice little quick shower? Did you do your homework? Yes, you did, good job, Danielle. All right, you can use the shower after Josie's done. Ruth is very hungry, I'm sorry, Ruth. I will get you food again. Ruth is accidentally just living up there, and I feel kind of bad. The best void critter, I got a fight with someone at school about which void critter's more powerful. I said it was the Arcticorn, but he kept saying the Sunator. Which one is it? I feel like Kelly would just be like, sorry, it's the Sunator, and completely disagree with her child. Aw, the girls are all sitting together. They look kind of sad, especially Josie looks sad. It looks like everybody has completed their homework, except, of course, Delilah, who pretty much never completes her homework. Oh my gosh, why did it immediately break? Todd's upset again. I hate everything. <laughs> It feels like it's every five seconds that my children are crying. What is wrong with them? These babies are the worst. Ruth was never this much work. Meanwhile, Ruth is awake and brought herself downstairs. What the heck? Ruth finally made it downstairs. I'm so proud of you, Ruth. I feel like she would enjoy playing with dolls and being a kid for a second. I feel so bad for Ruth. I just make her be so independent, but she's like an angelic child, so. Oh gosh, <gasps> a vampire! Wait, have we ever had a baby with Vlad? This could be a good Halloween vibe. Hello, Vlad. Flarping. <laughs> oh, he, he likes her, but honestly, Ringlar. she's not really feeling Ringlar. him. Chelsea's here, Chelsea's like, there is a baby crying, Kelly. Why are you over here? Jacob is still upset. Oh my gosh. Oh. She soothed Jacob. That is amazing. Wait, is there a vampire in our house? Yes, but he is on just the computer, so it's okay. What do you need? You just need to talk to, shush the baby, shush it. Vlad, get away from my baby. Vlad, can you not? Oh my gosh, Josie! I just managed to fix all of those things. Don't make me vanish you. There's a vampire that disappeared in our home. Ruth is so independent, I'm dying. I love Ruth. If Ruth could bathe herself, she would. If she could teach herself potty, she would. All right, this looks like a job for actual mom. She literally has like no fun. I wish I could, oh my gosh, Chelsea! I am literally livid with you right now. Okay, everyone needs to calm down. Go to sleep. I am angry right now. I am angry that these babies will not stop crying. I hope that you age up very soon. I am angry that my mom keeps breaking all my plumbing. I am angry that my Sim cannot sleep. That she's passed out. And there's a baby still crying. Todd and Jacob are on my last nerves. Find out what's wrong with this baby. Ruth is very hungry. I just told you to eat. What happened, Ruth? Okay, she is going to eat. She also is going to request for a bath from mom who is pretty much passing out. I want to cheat so bad. You don't understand how bad I want to cheat right now in this game. Okay, Danielle's off to school. Okay, they're all off to school. Oh my gosh, I forgot about... <laughs> 
about Ruth. She's so sad. Okay, Ruth, just go to sleep, sweetie. I'm so sorry. All right, so my kids are all having love day activities. Here's what has happened. Delilah's crush didn't even know she existed, but she had an opportunity to hand deliver them a love day card. So Delilah walked past the cubby and delivered the card directly into the hands of the most popular kid in school. After having it declared the most awesome card ever, Delilah was invited to hang out with the popular kids at recess and lunch whenever she wanted. Good job, Delilah. Josie had some heartbreak. She decided to buy flowers for herself and make it seem like she was popular. Unfortunately, the plan backfired and her classmates were jealous. Instead of looking cool, Josie spent the rest of the day ignored. And Danielle's crush didn't even know she existed. So she wanted to change that by giving her crush a card, but unfortunately she uh, wasn't able to find her crush on the playground. And by the time Danielle gave up and returned to the cubby, her crush's book bag was gone and the entire opportunity had been lost. Tissue paper flowers. In celebration of Love Day, Cove's class made tissue paper flowers. The teacher asked all the students to give their flowers away to someone special. Give the flowers. Cove passed by her teacher as a little sad as a school bully. Nothing felt good enough until she spotted an old man alone in the park. She reached into her backpack only to find that the bouquet of tissue paper flowers had been utterly demolished by her homework while walking. There's probably a lesson to be learned here. Ah, poor Cove. I got a phone call from Santa asking me on a date, so I missed it. <laughs> I need a pick-me-up. The pick-me-up that I am giving myself is I'm choosing to redecorate for Halloween. I'm gonna change the colors, I think, of these items. Ooh, yeah, okay. And then we'll have some pumpkins. We obviously need a pumpkin carving station. We'll put that over here instead of one of these. Ooh, I love this. We'll put this in place of this. I think it's all ready for our spooky Halloween party. I think I'm gonna have her plan her outfit when she wakes up too. She woke up naturally. Oh no, she did and it was a baby again. We'll ask what's wrong after we dress her for her Halloween look. I need a break from babies. We'll do it as a party look. I could definitely see her being like a witch or something or like a zombie. I love this one too. It kind of reminds me of how to train your dragon. She could be a pirate queen. <gasps> she could be a pirate. I think this is pretty cool. I'm excited for her Halloween party now. And we're gonna shush that baby. Shush. Stop crying, Todd. Turn the cheater on. A teacher caught Delilah looking at another student's test during class. Um, I think she should fail. <laughs> Kelly's like, whatever, don't get caught. All right, she finally got a salad for herself. Both of the children are upset and crying upstairs, but honestly, I have no patience for these babies right now. <gasps> Danielle's grades are up. She's a B student. Good job, Danielle. All the girls are home. They're all pretty miserable. Look at them. This is sad squad up in here. What do they need? Oh, that one actually, okay. They both actually need legitimate things. So I guess I will take care of them. Josie reached creativity level two. Good job, Josie. Which one are you? This is one. Good job, Josie. You need to sleep properly. You are also doing great and you are, what the heck, Delilah? Ugh. Go to bed. Not in a hot tub. Ruth is just perfect over here, not doing anything, not making a peep. Aw, she's trying to clean up because everything's wrong. Everything's just so expensive. You know what? I don't care. These children better age up soon. I'm over it. Ruth is very hungry. I'm so sorry, Ruth. She didn't ask for this. She would never. There you go, Ruth. Ruth's eating. Oh, Ruth is an angel. I think you need to give Ruth a bath once you're done with everything because poor Ruth has not been given a bath in Days. Oh no, oh no, a ghost is coming. Very appropriate though for a Halloween party. There you go, good job, Ruth. She's getting fun, attention. Everybody's love day was awful. Well, I can't do it all. Mom is miserable. Why are you, why have neither of the diapers been changed? Kelly, I left you for two seconds to change a diaper and you didn't neither of them. I'm about to throw these babies out the window. My mom just passed out. Todd's very hungry and is now gonna be taken away, but he's not crying. The one time he's not crying is when he's miserable. Are you kidding? You know what, take Todd away. See if I care. I mean, I will. Oh, it's talk like a pirate day. What a convenient day for me to throw a celebration. Whatever, replace. We're spending all our money in replacements and I don't care. Oh, our sweet angel is just having a great time with her thinking. She's so good. Jacob, I swear. What is wrong with you? Tell me what's wrong. All right, you just need to talk to as flippin' usual. These are the two worst babies I think I've had. Oh my God, she maxed out her skill. Finally, mom passed out. Of course you did. She cannot sleep for more than two seconds with these two children. 
I rest my case. Back to these kids. We've got Josie having a bop, having a heckin' bop. Let's plan all the outfits, okay? For the children and everything. Let's start with Danielle. You are an artistic prodigy and really smart, so. Oh my gosh, you know what Danielle's gonna be for Halloween? Danielle's gonna be Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> and this is her Halloween costume. Delilah for her party Halloween look. Is more rambunctious and a bit of a scamp, so I feel like she might be funny, you know? She might be like a hot dog girl. And we love that for her. Next, Cove is mean <laughs> and she's a whiz kid so she's smart and mean she could be like something kind of spooky and then try to like scare her siblings and be like the headless horseman or something yeah this looks great this is great what are we gonna do for josie she is a social butterfly and creative oh she's gonna go with a creative costume what would be creative a weather girl a lifeguard a lisa frank situation maybe she'll be a deer how do we do her makeup as a deer does this like come in other colors no Oh, she's got, oh my gosh, she could be roadkill. <laughs> she's gonna be roadkill, so she's gonna be a deer that died. That's kind of dark, but I, I'm gonna go with it because it's the first idea I've had. What a weird outfit I have invented for this child. And Ruth, of course, sweet baby angel Ruth. Wait, Ruth is a, Ruth is a boy, and I didn't realize I've been misgendering my child for so long. But also, I don't know, maybe this could be a creative opportunity for Ruth to be Ruth and identify as a woman. Have a happy accident and have a transgender sim. So we're gonna dress Ruth for Halloween. Do they have any like little costumes for babies? They do, but they're just Christmas related, but that one's very cute. Oh, Ruth can be a fox. Okay, Ruth has a little fox outfit and Ruth is gonna be a fox for Halloween because that was the closest I could get. Kelly and her family are set to go. Oh my gosh, Casey came over. Oh, look at them all doing their homework together. I love this. It's this little homework club and then Delilah's alone downstairs. She's next to baby Ruth. I think that maybe Delilah doesn't get along as well. She's not as good with her homework, maybe not as on top of it as the other girls are, but she tries her best. How are you doing? Oh, good thing we have Super efficient baby care. Boom. That's what I like to see. Good hustle, Kelly. I'm proud of you. Oh my gosh. Cove, stop being mean. Cove is being mean to her sisters and not being empathetic, which we don't like. Delilah is going to go mourn Wesley. She's having a little moment with her great grandma and her uncles. Uncles. Stop being mean, Cove, and go do something useful. Go be level three in social. Maybe you need to root out some insecurities of yours. <gasps> oh my gosh, finally. Jacob aged up and is inquisitive, and Todd aged up and is a charmer. Okay, well hopefully they'll be better Todds than they were babies. I love their big hair. I love that they both are wearing skirts too. That's real cute. I wanna plan their outfits for Halloween too. That'll give me joy. <laughs> finally, they are not babies. Let's plan their looks and then it's party time. That's kind of cute. He's like a little lion. And then Jacob, ooh, his is a superhero for hot weather. So I'm gonna let him be a superhero for his Halloween look as well. Okay, so he's gonna be a superhero. They have all their Halloween costumes chosen. You know what? We'll do something special today. Let's do some spaghetti for the family. That's fun. It'll be like brains because it's Halloween. Oh, both of the boys are still up here. Why are you in the toilet? I do not like that. Why don't you go babble? They're just gonna play around up here while she gets some of this going. Delilah's good, but she's sad about her mourning. Aww, what a soft-hearted, sweet princess, Delilah. Danielle's like, well, oh, she's kind of tense. She wants more mental stimulation. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Do some extra credit. You can stimulate yourself that way. Stop getting in the toilet. These are troublemakers. I think we need her to pick up and then put to bed. She's gonna do her extra credit. Hopefully she'll be less tense. Why do you write like you're running out of time? It's time to throw our party, plan a social event. It's Halloween, baby. We're having a spooky party, obviously. The game already knew. Invited, we don't have to invite the kids. They're already gonna be there. Who we are gonna invite? Some of the impeach schmays because we love them. Namjoon, uh, not Jace. Writer, because it's her dad. Aquaman's definitely invited. Messiah Reed, not invited. I guess Ross Geller and Dakota. Oh wait, she looks really cute in her Halloween costume. I feel kind of bad. 
had to change it when this is such a cute little, maybe she'll have two Halloween costumes. Look at all the costumes. Wait, who is dressed up like Darth Vader? It's Connor and Future Shmays here already boogieing. Oh, Danielle is sleeping on the couch. Look at her, she's having a good time. Ross Geller is like, I don't know what he is. Oh my gosh, this is why we changed because Blake wore the same outfit. Casey wore the exact same outfit. You've got to change, girl. There she goes. August and Hannah match. This is too cute. And who's this? Aquaman. Go tell Aquaman that he looks cute in his robot outfit. What's Delilah up to? Oh, Delilah. What are you in there for? Why don't you go introduce yourself to your grandma? What is in the water? Every single Impeachment woman, it feels like, came as a fairy. Oh, she's going to go pick up her kid just for fun. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, they both seem sad. Yes, Oliver. Rock out. Oh, Todd is really upset because Todd is really tired. So Todd, why don't you go to bed? Oh, very angry lion. Look at that angry lion. Danielle is so exhausted. Alexander, go back to sleep. Look at them all. I want you to go flirt with someone. Connor and Petra Schmidt making a pumpkin. This is perfect that it's talk like a pirate day so she can talk like a pirate. Oh, we've earned a reward. The party was truly frightful. Goodbye, everyone. She's going up to bed she's like i'm tired everyone's heading out very tired well at least she had a fun party party till you pass out am i right what are you doing up here ruth I just wanted to chat with your sister and get some attention cove could definitely chat with you she's talking about all that she knows about broken marriages that was so cute Oh, she feels so much better now. That is good. She is level three on everything but movement. Why don't you wander around a little? I will say, as much work as toddlers are, they make up for it by being so cute. Both in The Sims, I think, and in real life. Creativity level three, perfect. So now she just needs to be level four. Keep playing dolls until school starts. Oh wait, it's Sunday. Oh, never mind. I thought today was Monday. Oh man. I want to age someone up in this episode. Maybe it'll be Ruth. Ruth, you're our only hope. Ruth is in a great mood. <gasps> Josie reached creativity level four. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. I did not expect her to do it. Can you do your extra credit work too? And then you'll be ready to go for our school tomorrow. Oh, we've got a very upset smelly Todd. I think you need to give a bath to, is it Jacob? Which Todd is that? It's Todd. Give a bubble bath to Todd. <laughs> Done. Okay, Ruth has taught herself movement, but she's really tired, so that's perfect timing. So she can sleep until mom can get everybody sorted. Oh no, are you kidding me? We'll have to have that fixed. I'm just gonna replace it. Oh, everyone's eating together. Oh, and there's this disgusting pile of plates. Cute. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. You know what? I don't want it anymore. I don't want this hot tub. It is a pain in my butt. I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. Selling it for $600. That disgusting hot tub. Up. I don't care. Oh, learning some skills. Learn some dance skills, buddy. Kelly, I think you need to teach Ruth. Oh, nothing. Well, it seems like there's so many kids and none of them are aging up right now and she can't get pregnant. And I feel like Kelly might be overwhelmed as a parent. So I think what Kelly should do is ask over her mom and dad and ask Casey a little bit of advice. Have a deep personal conversation with your mom and dad. Yeah. Honestly, being a, the matriarch's been really hard on me. I don't know if I'm juggling it very well. It's been a whole episode and I didn't have any children or age anyone up. And Casey's gonna take her aside and say, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Sometimes you're not always gonna get it right. And sometimes you need to fly away and have a vacation. But overall, you're a good mom and you're doing a good job. It's not a race to the finish, it's about the journey and not the destination. Kelly feels bored, but better. I think I'm gonna leave this one here. We didn't really accomplish anything in this episode, which was super disappointing, but I do think that we threw a banging Halloween party, and if anything, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. Thank you so much for watching the 100 Baby Challenge. If you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, or check out some of our other videos.